Hello everyone, this is Keith Hoover, founder and CEO of Dashpoint Analytics. Uh, as many of you may know, I spent the last 18 years in uh, long-term care, working in healthcare IT, and one of the things we uh, constantly are working with is the financials related to running such an organization. And um, one of the dashboards we're going to demonstrate today is a financial analysis dashboard. Um, challenges that many of you face uh, you're you're stuck with reading um, financial statements in black and white with no interactivity and they might be old meaning they're waiting until month end close to get real data and so the dashboard I'm presenting today is meant to solve a number of problems across any level within the organization from the C-suite on down to uh, department managers. And it's going to connect across your systems from resident billing, resident and client billing to payroll, um, to some of your other ancillary revenue uh, sources if you have those as well. So without further ado, let me go ahead and log in. First of all, let me just make a plug here. If you haven't tried out our demo, uh, you can visit demo.dashpointanalytics.com at any time and try out all of our dashboards that we offer. Um, and if you haven't already created an account right down here, you can hit create account and sign in and play with a working live demo um, that has uh, some example f facilities in it and you can see um, any of these dashboards and get a sense for how they work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in here and you're going to see we have a number of dashboards. The one I'm going to focus on as mentioned was the financial analysis. And just give it a second to come up. Okay, so this, um, as you can see across the number of tabs here, um, this is going to do your income statement or statement of operations, depending if you're if you're more of a nonprofit or for profit. The, the terminology may be a little different, but uh, this particular example facility is a nonprofit CCRC. Uh, so they have multiple levels of care, um, and they do take uh, financial contributions, uh, development grants, that sort of thing. So uh, keep that in mind as we're as we're navigating through this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go full screen so you have a better view here. But uh, so the first thing you're going to notice is we're on the actual versus budget for our statement of operations. Um, you have a number of filters here. You're able to filter by department and cost center. Um, and you can check your fiscal year and fiscal month. Uh, right up here at the top, it's going to show you some of the key metrics uh, for the current selected actual. So this would be May of 2019. The revenue expense, other expense, other expenses is up here simply because oftentimes that's the most variable for departments and their ability to manage their spending. Net operations would, of course, be uh, any cash flow, revenue, and expense related to just strictly operations, not financing, not depreciation, none of that. And then net assets, it's the overall net revenue minus expense. Um, and then down here, you have the uh, variation based upon budget, like how closely are we exceeding or not exceeding budget for each of these line items. Over on the right, same thing, only it's the year to date. So it would be uh, January through May of 2019 in this particular scenario. Uh, and you can see how we're tracking for the year. Down below is your is your typical statement of operations. This should not seem foreign to anyone that's looked at a financial statement before. Uh, you're going to see your revenue line items, etc. And you're going to notice you're going to have the budget and then your actuals and the color coding is going to tell you uh, which direction you're uh, swinging either closer to the budget, meaning you're not meeting budget, or if it's blue, it's swinging closer to actuals, meaning you're exceeding budget. Uh, and then you also have by percentage and then the color coding within 
is is meant to sort of give you an idea of where you are vastly overperforming or underperforming. So in this particular area right here, our ancillaries related to medical supplies, we are way over budget there. So that might be a question. Why are we getting so much revenue out of medical supplies? Um, and and vice versa, our therapy for the Evercare uh, is down quite a bit. Uh, so why is that? Okay, so uh, I'm not going to go through every line item here, but essentially you can see your budget versus actual for the month and then budget versus actual for year to date. And again, uh, for all you financial folks, um, you have the ability to export the data to Excel and do your own slicing and dicing. Um, also, if this screen is too small, you can hit this focus mode, make it full screen, uh, and analyze it that way. Um, moving on, uh, so this is fine, actuals versus budget. We also do actuals versus last year, so you can compare years, see how you did uh, 2019 versus 2018. Again, I can switch to a different year. It's going to adjust all of these metrics accordingly. I can say maybe I'm only interested in our health care. And again, everything's going to adjust revenue and expense. And it's also only going to show those line items that apply to that particular department. So if I'm just dealing with a non-revenue center like maintenance, for example, you're going to notice uh, I have pretty much no revenue items, but I have all the expense items, uh, so I can kind of see how they, they work, okay? Moving on, revenue trends. Um, this is uh, essentially giving you by month um, your revenue trends. The blue bars is the actual. The uh, sort of line is your budget. Uh, green dots means you've exceeded budget and red dots means you haven't. Um, so that's a quick visual indication to see how you're doing month to month. You'll notice December here, we went nuts. And the reason for that is remember this is a nonprofit. So there's a couple things that usually happen in December. First of all, there's usually uh, a, a, a campaign uh, for, for, for donations and that sort of thing related to year end, as well as oftentimes investments get uh, actualized uh, on the books. So you're actually going to see a spike in revenue in December as well. So that's that's the explanation for that. Uh, again, you can see the breakdown by different areas. Uh, if I'm only interested in room and board, I can expand that, look at that, can look at it as a table, so on and so forth. Um, so again, I have my filters up top. I can switch around using those. Revenue insights, another way of looking at revenue. Um, this is going to give your, your revenue per the year along with layered over last year. The one thing this one provides over the other tab is you now actually have it by resident. Um, so I can actually go up here under resident name, search for who I'm looking for, click on it and it's going to give me all of their tra revenue transactions uh, for the selected year and month to month and comparison to that resident in the prior year and what revenue we got from them as well. So um, that gives you an idea of, of how that works if you're looking at a particular resident. Again, I can also filter by service names. So maybe I'm only interested in beauty and barber uh, revenue items. There you go. Notice all the charts changed accordingly. Um, I can also again go by the line item type, uh, housekeeping items, that kind of thing, and level of care. Expense side. We have similar uh, visualizations as we did it on the revenue. Again, the line being budget and the uh, columns being uh, actuals. Uh, so you can see salaries and wages, other expenses, benefits, property allocations. Expense insights, very similar to the revenue insights where uh, I can look at per line item. I can pick 
the uh, type. Maybe I'm only interested in property expenses. I can see the depreciation over uh, time for those items. Uh, again, fully interactive. I can I can click on any column and it's going to adjust all the other columns accordingly uh, and filter them. So, vendor analysis. This is particularly helpful for your for your budget. Uh, maybe your department managers are trying to track their expended expenditures. Um, they could pick their particular department. Uh, and they can even go into um, a particular vendor. Let me try that again. I misspelled it. Allenworth. And I can see uh, this is particular. We, we seem to spend to this vendor related to recruitment. And I can see my month to month. You can see the budget for this particular line item and how we're doing in comparison to budget and then we can see our expenditures the prior year so last year we only had an expenditure in september and then november and december um, so that's how that works overall trends this is uh sort of taking your net um, very similar where you can see your net assets versus net operating assets uh, for those who are less familiar with that net assets is your overall net uh, revenue versus expense and it includes investment activities it includes depreciation it includes contributions you name it net operating assets would back out some of those things like investment activities and uh, depreciation and this is more what are how are you doing related to operations specifically um, and again you can see your budget and how well you're meeting it uh, and then over on the right this is particularly helpful for you uh, long-term care folks you know we like to measure everything by census day uh, this gives you your totals per month per census day this is again overall meaning all levels of care but I can quickly go in and say I only want health care and it's going to show me the per census day uh, revenue by uh, health care. So again, fully interactive, fully filterable, everything adjusts accordingly. The last visual is uh, more of a quarter by quarter breakdown. Uh, it's going to give you your revenue versus your budget. So we actually exceeded both revenue and we exceeded a little bit on expense. It gives you your net assets by month and quarter and net assets compared to the trailing year. Um, I mean, last year versus uh, this year. And then you have the breakdown by quarter. Uh, the lines are the proportion of the overall revenue that that particular uh, item is contributing and then uh, you have your annual totals over here uh, again this is versus budget i can do versus last year and this is going to update uh, as it crunches the numbers and change the comparison versus last year and then if i'm just interested in actuals here's your actuals and there you go so that's a quick overview of, uh, of our financial analysis dashboard. I think you'll, you'll find it uh, very helpful and we can certainly customize it to your particular needs and line items. Um, feel free to reach out uh, at dashpointanalytics.com. You can email me directly at keith at dashpointanalytics.com and we'll be happy to set up a personalized demo and talk through the particulars related to uh, implementing this dashboard or any other in your organization. Thank you for your time.